Hey everyone, welcome to AI Motion Studio. Today, I'm excited to walk you through a workflow I recently developed for outpainting using Flux models. I've been getting some amazing results and I can't wait to share it with you. First, let's take a look at a few images generated with this process. Not only does it seamlessly extend backgrounds, but it also handles tricky areas like hands and feet with almost no errors. If you want to uncrop an image, change an image orientation from portrait to landscape, or you want a generative fill alternative, this video is for you. This workflow is organized into four note groups, each working step by step. The first group sets up the area for outpainting. The black section you see is the part that will be filled in or painted in. The second group uses an SDXL checkpoint for the initial outpainting. Since direct outpainting with a flux model isn't always reliable, I start with the SDXL model for the initial pass. However, this can slightly alter details like faces and other key features, so the third group restores any changes. In the fourth group, I use the Flux NF4 model to repaint areas affected by the SDXL pass, which smooths out transitions and fixes artifacts. Finally, the fifth step is to upscale the outpainted image, ensuring a high quality result. Now, let's dive into the logic and settings of each note group. We'll start with the first one, where I upload the image I want to outpaint and place it on a black background. But firstly, we need to adjust the image's aspect ratio before uploading it. For this example, we'll head over to Midjourney to download a portrait image. After downloading any portrait image, we'll open it in Photoshop. Additionally, we'll find another image that serves as an example of the landscape orientation we want our portrait to transform into. We also open that in Photoshop. Now, we select the image example and delete it, leaving a transparent background. Next, we drag our portrait image onto the transparent background and resize it to match the height and aspect ratio. Once aligned, we click Load Selection, choose the Crop tool, and press Enter to crop the image. Finally, we save the image and it's ready for outpainting. Now we return to Comfy UI and upload the image you prepared. Under the Empty Latent Size Picker, we set the same aspect ratio as the sample image used earlier, 1456 by 816. For the X and Y percent values, we use 50 to keep the image centered or adjust as needed if you wish to align the image to the right or left use only the X percent. With the image ready, we set the scale to 1. Leave all other settings as default. Moving on to the second group, this is where the initial outpainting happens using the SDXL model. I'm using the latest version from Juggernaut XL, which works great for this type of work. I've included a download link for it in the description. We also use an all-in-one control net model here. Again, the download link is also listed here and where you need to save the files. After this step, you might notice some changes to the image like brighter colors or slightly altered details. No worries though, the next group fixes that. In the third group, I restore any changes to the original details. If the changes are minimal and you're okay with them, you can skip this step and jump straight to the flux model repainting in the fourth group. The fourth group is where the magic of flux model repainting happens. Here, it smooths out any weird transitions or artifacts left by the SDXL pass. You can also adjust brightness and color to make sure the outpainted areas match the rest of the image. Now we click Q prompt to give it a try. Now let's see the result of the image we outpainted. As you can see, it works pretty cool, just like generative fill in Photoshop. Finally, we upscale the outpainted image in the last step. Since the original image was shrunk, we need to upscale it back to a higher resolution. I prefer using the Flux Upscaler workflow we developed. You can get it by going to civit.ai, search for AI Motion Studio, and click on the Flux Upscaler workflow to download it. Now, let's get back to our image. Our upscale is complete. 
As you can see, the image quality is noticeably enhanced. If you are having issues with the workflow, if some nodes are not working, just go to the Comfy UI Manager and click on the Install Missing Custom Nodes and click the Install button. After that update, all and restart Comfy UI. Let's see another example and check it out. I will speed ramp this process this time, not to take too much of your time. That's the complete walkthrough of this workflow. I hope it can help you out, especially if you don't have generative fill in Photoshop. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.